Hello everyone, John McCarthy here. Uh, beautiful day in New Orleans. I'm just returning from Garden District Bookshop where they were kind enough to let me put out some of my uh, postcards and getting ready for the upcoming April 20th release of my book, Hard Roll, A Paramedic's Perspective of Life and Death in New Orleans. Uh, I just wanted to tell you thank you all for those who have helped me spread the word about this project. And I wanted to kind of take a minute of your time to give those of you who may not know what in the hell Hard Roll is about a bit of an uh, explanation. So this book is a book of stories. Each story is a call that I went on with my partner in crime and best friend Sean Cerny. And these events in the book take place from 2006 to 2012, which is the time that Sean and I were partners uh, at the City of New Orleans EMS. The book is funny. It's really dark in places. Uh, in other words, it sort of mimics the bipolar nature, hopefully, of what the job of a paramedic and EMT is like on an EMS agency. You know, you, it was originally going to be a, a funny book, or a book, not a funny book, like a comic book, but a book of um, funny stories. <clears throat> but I didn't feel like that was, as I started writing it, I didn't feel like that was a very accurate representation of the job. And I felt like that would be doing a bit of a disservice to the job by only providing the readers with funny stories. Uh, when what I wanted to do with the book is give you an opportunity to experience a little bit of what it's really like to work in an ambulance. Um, and then for those who do work in ambulances, what it's like to work, what it was like to work with Sean and I. Uh, that job is not something where you get to go to work and you get to pick and choose what call you run. You can't show up and say, hey, I only want to run fun calls for the day. Give me the funny drunks and stuff. And you might do that, and then the next call could be a dead child. So that's the kind of thing I wanted to convey in this book. Um, and from the little bit of feedback I've received from those who have read some of the advanced copies for review, that's the response that I've gotten, especially from the people who are not in this profession. They, uh, they usually say, man, this is really funny. I really liked it a lot. Um, but in, a certain, in parts, I had to put it down because it was, um, it was heavy. So that's good. That's what it should be. And that's the response that I hope that it has. And in regards to that, the real purpose that I'm thinking that this book can have, or hoping that this book will have, is to convey to everybody out there the mental toll that's taken on those of us who do that work. And it's not just EMS, it's any first responder, cops, firemen, paramedics, medics, what have you. Um, there needs to be a better public understanding of what those jobs do to the people that do it. Um, I'm hoping that Hard Roll may shed a little bit of light on that subject and if so, create a bit more of an awareness and through that awareness maybe we can implement some changes to make this job better for those who do it. Because a lot can be done that's not being done. But So that's it. Um, if you want to pick up a copy, I would sure appreciate it. If you want to tell uh, other people about it, it's not just a book for EMTs. It's not. I think EMTs will, will enjoy it, will respond to it. But um, I really want everybody to read this book, and I really think that everyone can get something out of it. Um, I was curious if that were the case prior to the advanced screeners being sent out for review, but uh, the feedback I've gotten from those not in EMS has given me a little bit more comfort on that anyone can read it and appreciate it, hopefully, and enjoy it. So it is a book. You know, it'll entertain you, hopefully, as books are meant to do. But as also as books are meant to do, hopefully it will educate those who read it um, without being preachy or hopefully it's not super preachy. But so that's it. Thank you for your time, uh, four minutes of your time, and have a great day, guys. Thanks again for the support. Later.